गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू सेंट मेरी इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल हो यू ऑल आर गुड एंड फाइन सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म पार्ट वन टॉपिक न्यूट्रिएंट न्यूट्रिशन नीड फॉर न्यूट्रिशन टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड ऑटोट्रॉपिक प्लांट्स न्यूट्रिशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग इन एंड यूजिंग फूड विच टेक प्लेस इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इज कॉल न्यूट्रिशन सम लाइफ प्रोसेस गो ऑन कंटिन्यूसली इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सब्सटेंस विच आर डाइजेस्टेड एंड एसिमिलेटेड फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग एनर्जी एंड फॉर द ग्रोथ एंड हेल्थ ऑफ अवर बॉडी are called as food stuff need for nutrition to supply the energy required for doing work growth and development of the body to replace the damaged cells and repair tissues and to fight diseases nutrient the constituent of food are called nutrient we get several types of nutrient from food stuff the main nutrient in our food stuff are carbohydrate proteins fats minerals and vitamins nutrient we get several type of nutrient from food stuff nutrient can be classified into two types namely macronutrients and micronutrients nutrients like carbohydrate proteins and fats are required in large quantity these are macronutrients and minerals and vitamins are required in a very small quantity they are called micronutrients so we are going to study nutrition in plant modes of nutrition there are two main modes of nutrition in living organism they are autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition auto means own tropic means nutrition autotrophic nutrition is nutrition in which organism can prepare their own food the organism can produce their own food and thus nourish themselves is called autotrophic nutrition organism which can prepare their own food are called autotrophs heterotrophic nutrition hetero means other tropic means nutrient some organism depend on other organism plants or animals for their food this is called heterotrophic nutrient organism which get their food directly or indirectly from plants are called heterotrophs process of photosynthesis plant convert light energy into chemical energy and store it in a form of food water minerals and salt are absorbed by roots from the soil the stem transport them up to the leaves modes of nutrition in plant autotrophic modes of nutrition so plant also need food for their growth they can produce their own food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll the green pigment present in the leaves of a plant is the one of the most essential component for perform synthesis plant make their food in their leaves using water and nutrient from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air this process is called photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which plant prepare their own food by using sunlight water carbon dioxide and chlorophyll photosynthesis take place in the leaves sunlight is obtained from the sun water is absorbed by the roots and then transported to the leaves carbon dioxide is taken from the air through small pores in the leaves called stomata chlorophyll are the green pigment present in the leaves the leaves have a microscopic 
openings called stomata through which they take in CO2 from the air. The chloroplast present in the leaves contain chlorophyll which absorbs sunlight helping to convert CO2 and water into food. Oxygen is given out in this process beside leaves. Photosynthesis takes place in some other plants like green stem too as they contain chlorophyll. Carbon dioxide plus water, sunlight, so the outcome is food, glucose plus oxygen. Transport system in plant. The transport system of a plant consists of xylem and phloem. The xylem transport minerals and water from roots to all aerial part of the plant. The phloem transport the food that is glucose etc from the leaves to the other parts of plant where it is either consumed or stored. Though the plant have a transport system they do not have a separate digestive or a excretory system. So the function of xylem is to carry water and minerals from the roots to all the aerial parts of plant and the function of phloem is to transport the food from the leaves to the other parts of the plant where it is either consumed or it is stored. Biological fixation of nitrogen. Two different types of microorganisms can bring about biological nitrogen fixation. Root nodules of leguminous plant contain the rhizobium bacteria microorganism. This microorganism absorbs atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into its nitrate, a compound. A compound. Microorganism like azotobacter are present in the soil. They also convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. There are four types of heterotropic plants. Parasitic plant, saprophytic plant, insectivorous plant and symbiotic plants. Symbiotic plant. In some cases Two or more than two different types of plant live together to fulfill their needs of nutrition, protection, support, etc. with each other's help. This type of nutrition is called symbiotic nutrition. The two living organisms that live together and are beneficial to each other. This mode of obtaining nutrition is called symbiotic nutrition. Like in symbiosis between algae and fungi. Some fungi grow around the roots of some other plants. This plant supply nutrient to the fungi and in turn fungi supply minerals and water to the plants. Some fungi and algae live together. The fungi provides water, minerals as well as shelter to the algae. In return, the algae provide food to the fungi. Lichen is an example of a symbiosis between algae and fungi. Here, both the algae and fungi show symbiosis. Nutrition in plant, heterotropic plant. The plant which obtain food from other or which depend upon other organism for food. Heterotropic are incapable of feeding themselves. They draw all or part of the nutrition from other living organisms. This plant do not contain chlorophyll. They grow on or in the other plant body for obtaining the food. Example, cascata is a completely a parasitic plant. Means it is dependent on a host plant. Partially parasitic. Leaves prepare food, it suck water and minerals from the host plant. The plant that grow on the body of other plant to obtain the food are called parasitic plant. For example, Lorenthus and Cascata, etc. Due to the absence of chlorophyll, the, the Cascata is completely dependent on the host plant. Hence, it is said to be a completely parasitic plant.
न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट वी ऑल नो इंसेक्टिवरस मीन्स द प्लांट दैट फीड ऑन इंसेक्ट टू ऑप्टेन द न्यूट्रिय दिस इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट जनरली ग्रो इन द सॉइल और वॉटर डेफिशियंट इन नाइट्रोजन कंपाउंड्स द प्लांट बॉडी ऑफ द्रोसेरा बर्मनी हैज फ्लावर लाइक अपियरेंस इट ग्रोस क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड इट्स लीव्स आर एट्रैक्टिवली पिंक और रेड इन कलर विद द हेयर एट द मार्जिन ड्रॉपलेट्स ऑफ अ स्टिकी सब्सटेंस फाउंड एट द टिप ऑफ द हेयर्स एट्रैक्ट इंसेक्ट द साइंटिस्ट जॉनस वर्मन आइडेंटिफाई दिस प्लांट इन श्रीलंका इन सेवनटीन थर्टी सेवन द प्लांट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर हिम सेप्रोफाइटिक प्लांट्स लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम दैट डिपेंड अपॉन डेड एंड डिकिंग सब्सटेंस फॉर फूड आर कॉल्ड सेप्रो ट्रॉप्स दिस मोड ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग न्यूट्रिशन इज कॉल्ड एज सेप्रोफेटिक प्लांट्स द प्लांट्स विच ऑप्टेन द फूड फ्रॉम डेड एंड डिकिंग बॉडीज ऑफ अदर ऑर्गेनिजम आर कॉल्ड सेप्रोफेटिक प्लांट्स वेरियस टाइप ऑफ फंगी लाइक मशरूम्स एंड ईस्ट आर सेप्रोफाइट्स फंगी सीक्रेट डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स ऑन द डेड रिमेंस टू डाइजेस्ट और ब्रेक डाउन द कार्बन कंपाउंड द कंटेन द रिजल्टिंग सोल्यूशन इज ऑब्जर्व टू ऑप्टेन न्यूट्रिय वेरियस टाइप ऑफ फंगी लाइक ईस्ट एंड मशरूम सम फंगी स्पॉइल द फूड सम आर डिजीज इज कॉजिंग Why some have a medicinal properties? Useful fungi. Yeast and mushrooms are useful. Yeast is used in fermentation process and for making breads. Mushrooms are rich source of iron and vitamins. Role of nutrient and effect of their deficiency on plant. Nitrogen, important components of proteins. chlorophyll and cytoplasm effect of deficiency is retarded stunt growth yellowing of leaves prosperous conversion of light energy into chemical energy deficiency is early leaf fall late flowering slow growth of roots potassium function is necessary for metabolic activities effect of deficiency is weak stem whittling of leaves failure to produce carbohydrates magnesium production of chlorophyll is a function effect of deficiency is slow retarded growth yellowing of leaves this is the effect of deficiency magnesium production of main plants hormones retarded growth and spotted leaves is the effect of deficiency zinc production of hormones and their intermediates effect of deficiency is retarded growth yellowing of leaves so this are the role of nutrient and effect of their deficiency on plant so in this video we had studied about nutrition type of nutrition transport system in plant biological fixation and autotrophic nutrition of plant in our next video we are going to study about nutrition in animals types of nutrition in animal according to the type of food animal can be classified as thank you